uh, Christmas shell. So what I've done now is I've, I've just kind of presented to you a couple more options really around the pool. So this one is from corner to corner about 10 meters long, four meters wide, um, and the spa occupies just over two by two meters. So it's two meters by two meters on the inside of that spa. So four meters, you can see how it's kind of a big spa. We can reduce that down to about 1.8 by 1.8. I can move it off to the side, so on and so on. And, and these are really easy things to do when we're in a live meeting. And I just simply pick it up and move it around and, and, and get a bit of feedback from you. So in this design, what I've done is taken out the trees that were down the side. I've replaced them with a, a pleached um, or a spalliered uh, fruit tree. You can see the glass fencing around there. I've got black spigots on that. And then what I've done in the decking area is I've brought in one of the gray um, timbers that aren't timbers, like mud wood um, and mill wood and things like that. I have run with that idea of pushing out this wall, um, you know, the outdoor kitchen out to the boundary, which we can do, uh, getting those skylights in there, which I always think is really good in these areas. And you can actually do this um, in the ceiling as well, which I personally think uh, has, uh, has big benefits in, in, in bringing light into a space. So you can see how this pool does a little bit of um, a kick um, just to get it to fit into the area nicely. So this is uh, really about eight by four meters in that swimming area. Then you've got that spa. And then what I've done is I've, I've given you a little bit of a shallow beach. Now I know you guys have got young kids, so shallow beaches are really good, particularly for, for toddlers and things like that. The water's really shallow. Um, and it gives them um, a good space to just to be able to get a bit of reprieve and um, kind of play and, and hang out before they um, you know venture into the pool and it's kind of a nice nice relaxing space um, just to be able to lay in really shallow water anyway so I've got that little feature wall around the edge it's purely optional um, I like to do it because you can do some really cool lighting effects on it and then what I've done is um, I've made this pool about uh, four and a half meters wide at that at that furthest end away from the house. Um, same feature wall, same features around the, the fence line, but this time I've gone for a round spa. I've plonked it in the middle, and you can see that there's a little bit of space on either side. Now this sits about 300 mil high. It spills out over on all sides. It's got some beautiful uh, glass mosaic tiles. The whole pool is tiled in white. Um, and again, just like the other one, I can just I can shift it off to the side. Um, I can push it over towards the edge of the paving. Uh, I can take it almost completely out of the, the the pool altogether, off to that left hand side there, just so you've got m m maximum space in that shallow area. It's just another another look. Um, this one is 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 nice. I really like the round spars. Uh, just in the back of that, behind the kitchen, um, outdoor kitchen, you can see some raised veggie beds. I thought that's probably the best spot to bring them up forward close to the house. Um, and like I was saying earlier, this um, this scene at night time when lit up, those the screens along the fence lit up, the little wall. So what we do is we do um, strip lighting, LED strip lighting underneath the coping stone that sits over that and that just looks stunning. There's about three meters of space between the edge of the pool and that wall. And then I've got a narrow garden bed, some trees. Um, that screen becomes part of the pool fence compliancy. So it sits up at about 1.8 meters in height. And then um, space at the back of the garden for um, the shed, a little bit of paving uh, and pool equipment. And of course the trampoline is, you know, a trampoline is sitting in this corner. So you can get swing sets and cubbies and, and things like that into this garden. Those two big trees um, obviously have to stay. And then I've got on the left hand side just here, you can see that hedge. I've just, there's a couple of structures next door which um, I think are worth, worth hiding. Now you've got this beautiful internal courtyard. Now I'm not really sure of what the views are. So what I've done is I've put a screen up. It's quite high. Um, it probably doesn't need to be as high as that. And I've just put in a, a, um, a seating area. Now if you can see here, I've just got a fire pit. Um, you've got sliding doors that come into this area. Uh, I don't want to um, look into the property next door. I'd like to do a nice white screen. We could do the espalier. Um, trees on that. We could do some, you know, a climbing frame on that. I think it's a really good idea to get a, a small dining table and chairs. I mean, it's just a nice little space to go and, and sit. 
I've added a fireball and it's really just a nice little thing to be able to sit around. Now for the front, I've got a front, the picket fence is 1.8 meters in height. You can see above the gate, I've got that little structure for climbing roses, a straight path to the front door, some garden beds, trees on either side of the property. And if we can, we would, um, I'd like to see that driveway move away from being exposed ag into something a little bit smarter, but that's okay for the moment. So let me know what your thoughts are and, um, and we'll go from here.